okay. Yes, so I'm your son, and I wanted to start now with uh, with uh, talking about um, primal uh, connection, the primal in this case primal. Uh, Anxiety. It is regarding a child that is uh, born to a mother or a father or environment where the first thing in the morning was to adapt to the environment. So it's rather, sorry, I'm drinking from this cup. It's a warmer. Anyway, a child is born and he's got to adapt to uh, his uh, environment. And uh, usually, if it's not a native environment with a native mother who is uh, completely uh, relaxed about uh, everything, that is, if she needed some help from a family, from a sister, from a mother, from other children in the family, if they don't live in scarcity, there's no, no worries about uh, food. Um, there's no worried uh, about uh, paying taxes. If somebody is coming uh, with a gun to your house and uh, force you to do something or give something, Today, uh, more in ways of uh, authority, of uh, institutional government. Which is evil as they always were. Anyway, the conditions of the mother is uh, naturally very nervous, very unstable. Uh, Pushing the child to go to, uh, to public uh, children garden or to uh, school, the basic needs of the mother so who had not been met uh, ever since she also brought up in uh, an environment. <clears throat> that is hostile, that is uh, compromised. So a child like this, like myself, was born to, in circumstances where the pressure of the scarcity of uh, pressure of war, running away from war, and immigrating because of uh, political or other national ideology or religious uh, tendencies. <clears throat> and people uh, are born here. Uh, with immediate need to adapt to a situation which is completely contra against life, that is to adapt to a uh, frequency, the, the requests that are nothing to do with actual 
the living being, not uh, emotionally, uh, not spiritually, uh, not physically, in, in any way, organically. The culture that where the child child need, you know is born is completely uh, out of wax with reality around it. And instead of a natural reality, whatever it could be, there is an artificial reality that was created by a system. A system where the, the, the parents bow to, they have to. So now what happens is that after many years uh, having living uh, like this, we've been living like this. A person is um, accustomed to having uh, adoption, to have the adoption to this environment. He need this nervousness, this uh, lack of certainty, this anxiety to be where he's waking up to where he's every morning waking up to uh, an environment that is absolutely distracted by anxiety, by nervousness, by suffering. And then looking around in the world and see that it's happening everywhere. You know, with this anxiety, people are uh, convinced to dig in the earth and take out materials and move around and commerce and all this to evade, to go around the atrocity of the situation. This whole system is a wreck, is a absolutely madness. And yet you're born into it every morning, and what you're looking for is this exact madness, because you were born with this, and you're used to it, and you will not feel comfortable unless you had it with you. And why you feel comfortable? Because you had it with you. It was because of your near family that was behaving like this, and you are uh, founded of them. You love your mother, you love your your family, you love your father, you love your sister, you love your family, you love your house, you love the neighborhood, but everybody is absolutely out and, you know, away within his mind. They are absolutely retarded. So I wake in the morning, I smoke some ganja. That's what I'm smoking, my own growth usually. Now, so I have a license, so I get it from the from the system. Yeah, and within this uh, smoking, this uh, crap, you know, I will be shifting my mind to another center of uh, satisfaction. It is not uh, dependent on the family anymore. It's not depending on the heritage. It's not depending on the culture, but it is depending on the organic uh, circumstances in which I am now. Yes, I can still hear the dogs barking, the people buzzard, always anxious for something, and always nervous, always uh, unaware of the ability to perhaps take care or uh, be autonomous. The question is, 
still, what can I do within my autonomy? I can attempt to change, to change myself and bring myself to alignment with the frequencies that I choose rather. That's, uh, I can play with relationship. I can try to do something which I usually don't anymore. I mean, there's not much that I can do in these conditions, but everything is still uh, denied. This is a prison planet. This is a slaughterhouse um, with many assassini, assassins calling themselves uh, authority, calling them, themselves kings and gods and goddesses, whatever. And for me, they haven't shown uh, even a bit of a uh, sense of reality if they didn't hear the cry of the Palestinians. And I'm so afraid that if they will not hear the cry of the Palestinians, they will come to the same situation. which is life imprisonment with no mercy, no release, no future, no means for, for anything, for exchange, no recognizable and respected IDs, no quality, slavery, complete slavery of one nation to another. The minority, the crazy minority, is controlling the majority, the, 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 the innocent majority that is, that cannot get out of it because they are so human, because they are so unorganized, because they cannot create a wall of resistance because they're not able to create a policy. Although they think the same way and if they had to call Israel uh, a crazy, merciless, uh, whatever I said, they would, they would say. I hope for them that they still have enough courage because the Palestinians that I know from uh, 40 years ago, they were still complaining. Though they told me that, uh, that previously that were, they were refrained from speaking uh, Arabic in Hebrew society when they were in the bar and bus, when they were allowed to travel the first few years, they were not allowed even to go on a bus. They were in concentrate, concerting, you know, they were in camps like they are now. Then most of the Palestinians, are, I think, at least over five millions are in camps, such camps, that you cannot get out really anywhere. And you have uh, maybe another five million that are in camps that in that you may want to try to get out of there, that they can get out of there, maybe not may register as citizens anywhere, not having rights, but they can move around, for example, in Lebanon, and, or maybe even in Jordan, they can move around. They can, they got enough money to run away, maybe they can get out of there with enough of bribing or whatever. Or if they had the land, sure they will allow to to leave because then their land will be confiscated immediately. So not only they don't have nothing, and they're being being slaughtered in measures of 
two thousand a year average. It's uh, especially young people who go just going around in the camps and they have nothing to do. Everything is brought in. There's no commerce existing anymore. There's no possibility to work on the bombing and where you depend your people from all this bombing. Yeah, so this is a situation of Palestinians. Uh, I may be a bit better off, at least I think so, living on, under the the big uh, chimneys of the plant, this power plant here, and hearing noises that are created by 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 machines steadily, day and night, non-stop, for years, hearing these noises, sometimes they change and play with them so they can intrude you more. So, and the people that are all the time Israelis, the people are, forgive me for saying it, but they're awfully brutal and loud and inconsiderate. And everybody, any, every speech is usually done with a shout, with a rough shout, or with a curse or uh, bed-mouthing somebody loudly. Yeah. So. You can say totally whatever you name, you call it. You can call it uh, racism. You can call it social madness. You can call it social engineering. Uh, you can call it uh, lack of uh, center stability in many people that cause a permanent state of suffering. And they have to wake up to it, I think. This another. Anyway, thank you for watching me. I'm your son. Just woke up in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good evening, wherever you are. So.